That sound means it's time to verify. Is there something bugging you about this time of year? It seems like as soon as the cold air arrives in the triad, insects try to scurry inside your house seeking warmth. Good morning show viewer Christy Hinkle emailed me with this picture. Yikes, I know it might make your skin crawl even if you need to glance away. Keep listening, please. You'll want to hear this information. Hinkle said she saw this bug a couple of times outside of her house in Alamance County recently. Someone told her it was a queen ant, but she wasn't so sure and asked me to verify. To verify, I talked to Frank Fowler, the vice president of McNeely Pest Control based in the triad, and I consulted the NC State Extension for Entomology. They both confirmed no, the bug Christy saw is not a queen ant. In fact, it's not even an ant. It was actually a picture of a velvet ant, um, and it's not an ant at all. It's very interesting. It's a wasp, um, and this wasp has no wings. They belong to a family called uh, mutilids, kind of sounds like mutant. So this mutant wasp is intimidating in appearance. The NC State Extension explains it has an ant-like appearance and a furry red and black coat. Even though the male velvet ants have wings, female velvet ants do not. They also have stingers, which can inflict a painful sting. That's why they're nicknamed cow killers, because folklore described the sting as so painful it could kill a cow. Velvet ants are native to eastern North America, which is probably why viewer Christy Hinkle found the female velvet ant outside her home in Alamance County. Are they dangerous? Well, they might hurt if they sting you, but their main threat is to other wasps and bees. Velvet ants feed on their larvae, thus harming pollination and pest management. So just leave these alone. If you have a verifying inquiry, submit a post, screenshot, picture, or selfie video on my Facebook page, Megan Malaris News, or you can email or tweet me and let me get your questions verified.